Hey nonny nonny, back again for another one. Now, um, it's, I'm going to feel like a history teacher with this one. Um, we're staying in Yorkshire again for this one. And um, basically it's 16th uh, largest uh, brewer in the UK we're going to. Um, the second largest brewer owned by family as well. Founded in 1827. Uh, by Robert Theakston and John Wood of the Black Ball Pub. Theakston of Black Ball Bitter coming from that. 1919 acquired, they acquired the Lightfoot Brewery, which was uh, across the road from them, I think. 1974 bought the Carlisle State Management Brewery. Paul Theakston, who was a managing director since 1968, left Theakston's in 1988 to form what we now know as the Black Sheep Brewery. Um, in the old Lightfoot Brewery, which is across the road from it, because I go to Thiexton and Black Sheep quite regularly. And um, Carlisle Brewery, they won, they, sh they bought um, back in uh, 1974, shut in 1987. And uh, some of the Thiexton beers uh, went to Scottish Newcastle and Newcastle Time Brewery. And in 2004, Theakston returned to family ownership after being purchased back from Scottish and Newcastle by, by four Theakston brothers. And um, they export to the Germany and the US of A. And um, the beer I'm doing now, if you haven't guessed it by now, because I'm very passionate about this brewer, is Theakston's Old Peculiar. The legend. And, mean, and I mean when I see it, when it says legend, it is a legend. And it's 5.6. I call it the sister beer of Black Sheep Big Welter because it's very similar in style and, and appearance and everything. So this has been made under its old peculiar tag since the 1890s. And it's, um, isn't it? And it's um, named after the peculiar Masham or Massam pronounced properly. And that is, um, I'm just reading my notes, So, is, is um, a parish outside the jurisdiction of a diocese. That's what a peculiar is. And um, in 1985, the economist um, said this was the doyen of real ale. So, you know, that's the history lesson over. You enjoyed it, didn't you, mate? Eh? You enjoyed it? No, not really. Anyway, I'll crack her open and see what we're going to get. I love this beer, it's beautiful. There's the plain cap. Plain and simple and a little bit boring. See what we got on the neck. Again, kind of like a dark fruitiness here. It's it's kind of like, like, um, like a prune skin, I think. Mm, it's like a hoppy grassiness, but it's more like dark fruits. Maybe slight dark cherry, only slight hint of cherry there. So let's pour out and see what we're gonna get. So as it coming out, it's nice and dark. Looks very very similar to the black sheet wig well I had the other week, like that. Getting more, more dark fruits, roasted malt, prune. Might be a dark witch. Maybe a slight fig even coming from this. But it's it's it's, it's again it's subtle. It's very subtle. So let's top her up. Again I'm gonna mess this up. Look <laughs> I messed it up again. Look at the size of that. Maybe it's just me. I'm having this at room temperature. Look at that head. I'm after gonna have to employ somebody for these videos and and pour out a proper pint of beer for me because I'm I'm not having a good time of doing it at the moment. So let's go in. That's lovely. Molasses. Maybe a slight. There is a richness there. Maybe like. Um, Definitely a plum. 
because there's a hint of sweetness to go with it. Maybe um, a slight cocoa bean now, only a slight tinge of cocoa bean. It's definitely roasted up. Slight sweet around the mouth. But boys and girls, this beer, you can get this you know in a lot of places. This is beer is in one of my it's in my top ten. It is lovely. In fact it's pretty beautiful. Once again, maybe a slight woodiness in this. A lot of rich woodiness. And a slight treacle even. Because it is, I'm surprised how sweet it is. It's sweeter than what I thought it was. I do like this beer. I, think, I don't have it that often enough because I have it, you know, maybe four or five times a year. And at the moment it's dead, dead cheap. And I mean, you know, for saying, you know, like, you know, if you want to get a, a wine of the same standard as this beer, it's going to set you back what seven or eight quid you know this beer you know with, with with the history behind it and everything and the taste is rather nice actually i actually pick up a slight meadiness to this you know for about one pound twenty it's a bargain you know absolute bargain you don't know what you're missing it's it's absolutely gorgeous so i'm not going to say to you go out and give this one a go I'm going to go and say this to you. You have to give this one a go. Because it's bloody good. Um, you know. And if you have a bad pint of this. It's not the brewer's fault. It's the blinking landlord's fault. So give him a bollocking from me. So boys and girls. Thank you for watching this one. Go out and get. I demand you to go and get. A bottle of Old Peculiar. Love it to bits. So cheers. Thanks for watching.